Next up is a business with a mission to spread love. Hi Sharks, I'm Prissy Lamb, founder of Love Is Project. I'm here today seeking $250,000 for 5% of my company. Hi Sharks, I'm Gladys Lamb, Chrissy's loving mom. I help <laughs> her with finance and operations for the Love Is Project. What does the world need more of now? Love! And that's why I started the Love Is Project, to focus on spreading more positivity, empathy, and connection. Our flagship Love Is Project product is our artisan-made love bracelets, which remind you to love and be loved. Every handmade bracelet is inspired by the culture and craftsmanship of each place of origin. We've been able to create over 2,000 jobs for female artisans in 10 countries. Our supporters resonate with our strong brand message of love. They appreciate our authenticity, our accessibility, and social impact. Please continue to spread the love. I love Love is Closer. Love is a common thread that connects us all. It's universal, so come spread the love with us. Have everyone wear the heart on the wrist. <laughs> We've got so much love to give. The gifts in front of you are our way of sharing our love with you. Yeah. Christy, how did you come up with this idea? My background, I worked in uh, corporate fashion doing concept design and trend forecasting, traveling around the world for multi-billion dollar fashion companies. After I left corporate, I spent another eight years on the ground working in developing countries with artisan groups, leading sourcing trips, and creating products. While living in Kenya, I created the first love bracelet with the Maasai tribe. When did you start the business? I started the project in January 2017. By year end, we'll have made $4 million since launch. Wow. Wow. And at this year, it will reach $2 million at the year end. Wow. What makes me most happy is really to see the impact that we've had on the women's lives. You know, seeing them be able to improve their homes or send their kids to school or feed their families. We're more than just a bracelet. It's very inspirational, wow. Chrissy, but is there is there a profit motivation in this or are you trying to sustain these 2,000 plus jobs? No, the idea is we're creating jobs for the women so they can support their families. Uh, our profit margin, blended, is 70%. Our EBITDA is 30%. What does one bracelet cost and what do you sell it for? So we have um, our hero products. The landed cost is normally 3 to $5. And that's for one of the little bracelets. The beaded bracelets. Yes, yeah, the beaded ones. Uh, and then we sell those between $18 and $30. And where are you and selling them at? Uh, we sell them online on our Just store. on your website. Oh, we also, we ha we're also in over 350 retailers in 44 states in the United States and 22 countries. I like your messaging. Yes. I think it's important. But how do they find out about your story? What's telling them? How, yeah, how are you driving know? traffic? Right. Um, we have uh, digital marketing. How much are you spending per month on that digital advertising? Gladys, Go ahead, Mom. I love your fingers. What are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> I love to answer Mark's questions. Fire away, Gladys. Yeah. When we started, both Chrissy and I, we both don't have any digital marketing skill. I'm a bean counter, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so first year, the Facebook ad kills us, but we went to classes. I am a dinosaur in the class, the oldest lady there, but we just keep on cranking. So the first year we might have spent about 80% of our revenue to Facebook. Wow. wow. That's okay. I, I <laughs> take it. I'm paying my tuition. I'm going to learn it. Amen. Then 2019 is about uh, 50, and now I'm down to 30%. Including agency. And has every reason to go further down because she has 50,000 followers. What's your cost per individual sale? My cost per acquisition. Right. CPA, <laughs> cost per acquisition. Or POAS, right? <laughs> Is we are keeping it down to around twenty-five dollars, but our average order is seventy-five because people are buying for gift. And our long-term value of a customers, can you believe it? You want to give a guess? What is my top customers? They spend three hundred, twelve hundred dollars, four million. <laughs> oh, I love Barbara. She has an angle. <laughs> Kevin, this is your dream company. For wedding gifts, they buy to give to the guests to share the ah, love message. Yes. Each one has a different message. Our top uh, wedding party is five thousand dollars. Wow. wow! But I want to know a little bit. You said bean counter. I want to know a little bit more about your background. I came from a strong lineage of women. My mom 
escaped the communist China and went to Hong Kong to look for a better future. I too immigrated to America as a student looking for my American dream. Then I quickly got my CPA. I rose up through the rank to be a VP finance. Wow. Which company? Bank of America. Bank of America? Good yes. For you. I nice. want to be a little more focused here for a second, OK? I'm the numbers guy here. You're the bean counter. You said yes. that yourself. What did you sell last year, and what did you make on it? Last year, we sell a million and one. And what did you net on that? That year, we still, our Facebook ads are still very expensive. Is that another way of saying you made no money? Yes. Could you just tell me what you lost last year, what the number was? Close to 80,000 in loss. OK, so we have established that the business lost 80,000 last year. That's not good. And you have no debt? Uh, we have. I have a small business loan of How much? two hundred thousand dollars. Is that an EIDL or wow. is EIDL? We also have. So that. that's where the two hundred. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so two hundred thousand dollars, just a standard SBA loan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Plus you have an EIDL yes. for how much? Uh, three eighty-two. Yeah. So three eighty-two. Wait, wait, wait. Three wow. three hundred eighty-two thousand. So that means you have five hundred eighty-two thousand dollars in debt on the company right now. Christy and Gladys, I think you both fooled yourselves. You came in here saying that you had a company with a mission. I don't see it that way at all. I see it as a mission, period. But you don't take care of the business end. See, I don't agree with that, Barb. I don't agree really? with that at all. Well, then maybe Mark yeah. will invest. I totally mistrust your capacity to make a profit. And now you, whoa, 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 whoa. And now you come in here and you're asking for an investment in a business that had a loss last year. It's the equivalent of you coming in and asking us for a charity donation. Maybe you have something to convince me otherwise. I'd like yes, to hear. Yes, we've been able to get unsolicited celebrity endorsements, international press, and secure big brand partnerships. Yeah, but it's got to, at some point, translate to the bottom line. And it, it has is, it now. Is it will this year. Yeah. But yes. most entrepreneurs always believe it might happen the next year. I'm afraid I could never think of investing we in We can show that. So for that reason, I'm out. You've done a great job in articulating the mission. I get that. Um, my mother taught me that if you're successful in life, you have to give back. So far this year, I'm at 35 charities that I've supported. And the only reason I can is that the majority of my investments make money. And I take that and I give back. I'm confused with this presentation. Am I investing in a business or am I investing in a mission? This is not the charity tank. This is the shark tank. I'm a shark. I want to invest and I want to make money. Then I'll take my profits and do whatever I like with it. I don't feel there's a place for me in this. I'm out. You are great people, and it's a great product. But on the other hand, there's just too much competition in this space. We I'll have support, but I just can't invest. We I'm out. Look, I, 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 it is a business, and the mission is great. The questions I have are in just some of the particulars, right? Christy, you're obviously very accomplished. You've had professional success. And Gladys, you're just a home run hitter. That's my disconnect. Because why are you here? That is an absolute disconnect to me that I have a huge problem with. And for those reasons, I'm out. Gladys, I, I gotta tell you, you remind me of my mother. <laughs> but in a good way. My mother arrived to this country in the late 1960s, and she worked for 25 years as a single mother to support my brother and my sister and I. And I love it. But I think you're stuck in the middle of the bread between philanthropic and business. And when I invest in businesses, I like to go narrow and deep. It feels like you guys are wide and shallow. So I will support your mission, but I will do it as a customer, not as an investor. And I wish you the very best. For those reasons, I'm out. All right. OK, guys. Thank you very much. It's I really appreciate it. Congratulations on what you've accomplished, though. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. We're disappointed we didn't make a deal with the Sharks today, but you know it doesn't matter because we're so passionate about our project. We're going to be profitable, and we will keep the profits. We don't have to share with the shots. <laughs> Next into the tank is a business with a mission of making it easier for moms to have quality time with their kids. Wow, they made business. Hello, 
my name is Whitney Landin, and I'm from Palo Alto, California. My business is Sonnet James, and I'm seeking $350,000 for 25% equity. It is so important for parents to play with their kids, but too often our clothes hold us back from our parenting adventures. Well, Sharks, I'm here to tell you it doesn't have to be that way anymore. I'm the mother of two messy, wiggly, beautiful boys. To them, grass stains are just a sign of a day well spent. But on my clothes, they're an expensive dry cleaning bill just waiting to happen. <laughs> I thought, what if there was a dress that made it easy for moms to get down on their kids' level and immerse themselves in their adventures, but also made them feel confident and attractive? If you're a mom tired of yoga pants like I was, then this is your new mom uniform. They feel like pajamas, but will make you look and feel put together. You can head to the city for a work meeting, take your two-year-old on a bike ride, pick up the boys from baseball practice, and go straight to date night with your husband without ever having to change. And the best part? When those banana hands have been wiped clean on your dress, just throw it in the wash and you're good to go. Cute. Help me build a world where parents are more young at heart, present in the moment, and more playful with the ones they love. Our kids are still young, but the days of being invited on their adventures are running out. Thank you so much for your time, yeah. and I would love to share some samples with you. Great. This one is for you, Barbara. Thank you, Because you look Which amazing one? in the blue. Oh, thank you. I love blue. <laughs> and for Lori. And this is for your lovely wife, thank Linda. Thank you. That's great. That one's for you. Appreciate and that's you. for Tiffany. Thank you. You gave me a lollipop. Okay. They're nice and thick and heavy. Yes. Durable. So they're flattering, yes. Um, they have that nice little stretch but compression. It's in also, the right they places. they don't seem as though they'll lose their shape at all. Yeah. They're pulling they retain their right shape back. really, really yeah. well. So what does this cost? For me to make is $34. I make locally in California, and I sell it on average at 138. And so my margins are about 75%. Wow. Wow. And That's where great. do you sell it? I'm direct to consumer. Everything's Correct. on. Everything's online. Everything's on online. my website. And by the way, marketing is great. You know, the, the videos, oh, except. shirt? No, it's a, I think it's a dress. It's a long dress, yeah. Oh. It's my. Oh, please, I'm going to wear it later, Lori. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> but, Put it on but, right now. But, but Whitney, I'm always enamored with numbers. You know that. I yes, love numbers. Yes, I know that. So, 350000 25%, $1.4 million valuation. Yeah. You've got to be selling a lot of this stuff, right? Uh, I've been in business for five years now. My first year, I did $84,000. Good for you. 84 first year, that was five years ago? Five years ago. Okay. And this last year, I did $1.2 million. Whoa. So, yay! All, 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 yeah. all online, all online. All online. So How you've built you a community of, of mothers that are into what you're doing. They buy more than one from you. Yes, my average order is two dresses, so that's around $250. Wow. Do they repeat order from you? Do they say, I love I have it? I have a 43% wanna... returning customer rate. Your sales are great, so obviously something's working. Yeah. But are you making money, or you spend a lot of money on marketing? Yeah, What's so your cash I do, I do feel like I need help. I feel like my margins are so good, and then I feel like my COG is good. COG is cost of goods sold. Yes, That's... and then... My expenses are closer to like 63%, where my COG's like 27%. And then I only have about eight to 10% left for my net profit, which I just feel like is too small. You're the designer? I have designed every single dress, yes. And what's your background? I had kids young. I was 22 when I had my first child, and I decided to be a stay-at-home mom. And fairly soon after, I became a single mom. I was going through a difficult time in my life. And so I had this idea of making a dress that my mom could have worn that could have reminded her to play with me when I was little. And I said, all right, this year, I'm gonna take the idea and I'm going to teach myself how to sew and I'm gonna pattern draft. And every night I would pretty much sit on the kitchen floor crying, trying to teach myself how to do two things that I had no idea how to do. And uh, I built the website and surprisingly, a mom blogger picked it up and she thought it was a really cute idea. And within 48 hours, I had over 150 orders. Wow. So cool. And I wow. completely freaked out. <laughs> and I called my brother and I said, I'm shutting the website down. I'm gonna refund everyone's order because I have no idea how to deliver 150 dresses. <laughs> and he said, do not shut it down. <laughs> like this is what startups dream yeah, of, you know? Yeah, that's and right. 
And I was like, okay, he talked me down and I got in the car the next day and I drove to LA because I'd heard that there was fashion-y stuff in LA and I just started knocking on doors and the rest is kind of history. Good for you. Can I go back to one thing on your story? Yeah. You said you were going to design a dress that would be like a dress that if your mother had played with you, can yeah. you expound on that? Yeah, so um, I had a somewhat difficult childhood. Um, there was... Um, there was um, some abuse and addiction. And, uh, you know, it was tough as a kid. You know, it's okay. My parents, my parents did the best they could with what they had, you know. I found when I became a mom, I couldn't engage with my kids as much as I wanted to. And um, I wanted something that could help me be the mother that I had always wanted to be. And something that could you know, remind me every day when I put it on what my priorities were. And I feel like that's what mothers connect with. You know, all of us have come from some dysfunction, you know, no one's childhood was perfect. And I think this band of us mothers were saying, you know, we want to do our very best. And any way I can support mothers in doing that is, is my life goal <laughs> and my mission. And I feel very honored that I am able to do what I do. You know what? How fantastic that you took adversity. Yeah. And you said, that's not going to pull me down. It's only going to rise me up. Thank and you, And you did a fantastic job mm -hmm. of it. You should feel very proud of yourself. Yeah. Thank you. I am. I'm Absolutely. very proud. It's a very moving story, i got to tell you. Now, back to numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. You so, I, I love know the that numbers. Was no, 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 no. Listen, I'm, I'm moved. I'm really, I'm, I'm really moved. But 1.2 million, which is spectacular. I know it's working, but that 8% to 10% you're making means you're basically making about $100,000. Are you paying yourself anything? 70,000. Okay, so that's, that's after. after the 70,000. Yeah. So the challenge here is $100,000 on a 1.4 million valuation, like is a great, great valuation. Not really. I think I did a very, it's very, very conservative yeah. Yeah. It's very fair. Valuation. Why do you think it's conservative? Because I feel like, I mean, I believe that my company can easily be a $100 million company. Yeah, but everybody experiences returns in the clothing business. Everybody loses customers. Yes, Every I have 23% return rate, which is lower than the average of 30%. Ouch! For that's, online. That's huge. For online, it's not bad. So Whitney, yes, I'm in this business, Yes, right? you are. And what I see is there isn't a huge point of difference in what you're offering from the apparel side, okay? okay? There's lots of items and products like this all over the market. Okay. 23% return rate is a little high for how democratic of a fit this is. Okay. What does democratic fit mean? It means it's flexible. It's a forgiving yeah. garment. Right? So you learn something so, every day on Shark Tank. But I also like to invest in female entrepreneurs, and I just really like you. Thank you so much, Sarah. So What are you going to do? So Whitney, I'm going to offer you uh, the $350,000 for 25%. Oh what? my gosh. Wow. Thank wow. you so I would say much. Yes before I'm, gonna, someone I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. You can't change your mind. Uh, <laughs> you can tell you can Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You're adorable. Oh uh, she is adorable, no doubt. I'll be able to help you. Thank yeah. you so much. It's great. Good job. Wow. All right. Congrats, Whitney. Thank After you. 10 years of Shark Tank, you've won the number one presentation for fashion. It was such a crazy you, story. Kevin? Crazy story. Oh my god! I mean, it really, really hit me. Give him a sucker. Yeah. And but Whitney, happens. that was a ridiculous <laughs> valuation. Ridiculous valuation. Good night. Good luck. Bye. <laughs>
moon. They've already outgrown them. So we thought, what if we could invent one shoe that could be styled with every single outfit in the wardrobe? Sharks, that's exactly what we did. Introducing Bubbles and Souls. Our patent-pending interchangeable shoes allow your little one to customize that perfect pair. Whether it's adorable piggies for a play date, <laughs> or pom-poms for that perfect party. With Bubbles and Souls, one shoe equals endless possibilities. Our functional and fashionable shoes are machine washable, slip resistant, totally recyclable, and best of all, they're made right here in America. So Sharks, who's ready to go from playground to party with us? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We have some stylish samples for you in cool. which Kaya and Audrey will help us. High five, high five, high five, high five, high five. High five. Yay! Give this to him. Good work, Audrey. Thank you so much. Oh, so cute. So Duke is actually going to show you how to use this. You put the three fingers inside as a support. And with the other hand, you, put, you take the bubble, align it 90 degrees, and then twist clockwise. Sorry. Clockwise. Ta-da! Yeah. Oh, I see. Push it down. And then twist anti-clockwise to take it out. Is it good to use? Okay, uh, yeah. it's anti-clockwise. Really? Got it. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. Bye. bye, bye. bye. How did you come up with the idea? Sure. So, like a lot of uh, businesses owned by mom, it was inspired by my first daughter. When Kaya was ten months old, she had this pair of shoes that somebody had given her, and it had a red heart on it. And I knew I didn't want to buy more shoes because she was going to outgrow that in two to three months. And so I thought, gosh, I, I wish I could just take out that red heart. So we went on a journey to make it happen. We obsessed, studied. We found a mold maker to make the shoes for us, the tooling. And how many different items do you have to attach to the shoe? Yeah, so right now we have about 20. What does one package cost for the base shoes? It costs us with the packaging about $11. We sell them retail for $49.95. Wow. And wholesale. $25. How much are they individually to buy a package of the characters? So $12.95 to $16.95, depending what they are. So what is your background, both so, of you? I'm from, I was born in Montreal, Canada. C'est un honneur pour moi d'être ici, à Shark Tank. So I came here when I was 20 years old to pursue my film degree. Um, 10 years ago, I founded my company. What um, is your company? company was it? A wedding Video Production. Lisa, what's your background? My mother and I left Vietnam on a fishing boat. Um, we ended up in a refugee camp for three years. Wow. We were one of the lucky few, you know, I mean, 25% of people who did this died at sea. Then we resettled to Australia, where I grew up, and hence oh, wow. the accent. In Australia, I, I got into law school. I worked in, in banking and finance for a short while, and then just realized, you know, life has to be more extraordinary than this. So. Um, I gave that all up and I went to the Philippines to volunteer um, to do pro bono legal work. So we helped uh, refugees like us. Wow. Then was um, offered after a year uh, a full-time job as the executive director of the nonprofit. So I moved to Washington, D.C. And that's how I came to America. We've had a lot of people who uh, went through tough situations. I don't think we've ever heard of somebody a refugee, that yeah. went through a refugee camp that lived there. It's no. an amazing story. So you know that she's going to be a hard worker here, right? Yes. Immigrants get it done, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, what are your sales? In the last 12 months, we have made $150,000. How did you sell that? So we have our website. A lot of our business is actually wholesale and international distribution. So actually, 80% of our business right now is to wholesale overseas. 80% is to wholesale? It's to wholesale. This year, we're projected to do $300,000. Yeah. And our, our projected profit is about $170,000. So guys, what are, you, what are you looking for? Well, we are looking for a strategic strategic partner. We see a huge opportunity here in America. So I'm, this is challenging for me because this is an inventory challenge you're going to have. You, you're going to have a nightmare with that because you have to stock up on so many sizes, so many colors, and then so many more accessories. Yes. And in my business, the thing that have killed more people than the plague has been inventory. Mm -hmm. I really love this story, but unfortunately, I'm out. Oh, Damon. So we Lisa, actually, I, sorry, Lisa, I really I... respect your story. I think when you come from those kind of circumstances, I mean, you, you start from the bottom. You can only go up. Um, can I just say, we only need to make 300 pairs per go. Our hold on inventory is what? not... So every time they injection mold, 300 pairs minimum. I have to be transparent with you. 
I don't love it. I, I think it's a cute product, but what really concerns me is in a year, you've really only sold $30,000 through your website. You've got to grow that market, and so I, I'm out, because I think the market's not talking to me through those sales. But we've, maybe maybe the market's no talking to one of the other sharks. We've done absolutely no advertising. But at least that, that's the challenge, again. right? Can it's, I add one more thing sure. before you? So we have the one of the things that we're doing to grow our direct to consumer, and it's something that we're still thinking about, is the you know the build a bear model. We have the capacity to allow our customer to build a shoe. You're making my point, on our right? Yeah. So what you guys have is a great product, but it's not obviously different. And so because of that, you have to find the way to market it. And you haven't found that yet. And so because you're not quite sure how to market it, you're searching for things that are accelerants. You want to add more sizes because somebody told you you need more sizes. You want to copy, potentially build a bear so that when somebody comes, they have more alternatives and maybe that'll get them to buy the shoes. You haven't figured out the way to market it yet. That's what you have to do first and foremost. And so for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Mark. I think that just... I would like to say something here that, you know, most often in Shark Tank, people like you come and stand on that carpet and ask for ridiculous valuations. Here we have a situation where you've actually come in with a realistic valuation, just over $600,000. I think you've built $600,000 with a value. We're here for the deal. Uh, we've been I offered that other investments, of, and we've just said no to them because we're, this is, we're here for you guys. No, I, mean, I, I understand that, and I and That's apparent. That's apparent. This was a really remarkable presentation, I must say, and a good valuation. Very so good. The, the question becomes, do I want to be in the shoe business? You know, I've learned a lot about shoes on Shark Tank over a decade. I, I wish you the best, but I'm out. I just don't want to be in the shoe business. Not because you haven't done a spectacular job presenting. I'm hopeful that Lori's still here, and she likes a lot of plastic stuff. <laughs> so, Thank you, Mr. Thank Wonderful. You. This is a demonstrable product. Last month, our returning customer rate was 46%. So we know that when we get a customer, they come back, they come back for more baubles, and they come back for larger sizes. Well, that's a very good thing for you. Sitting here today, um, you really very much moved me with your life story. Often, the most successful people have gone through major hardship it gives them strength and grit and a bounce back and a drive like no other. Lord, and before you say what you're going to say, the direct-to-consumer market is an, is an opportunity for us to grow. No, I, I totally get that. For me, I have to weigh where do I think is a right investment at the same time against my heart. So believe me, my heart with you was Please. so 100% in, but I do feel that this is gonna be a tough journey because of the competitive landscape and because the shoe business alone is really hard. But because we're made domestically, we do hold on to very little inventory. It's, and it's not, we can turn around that inventory very, very, very quickly. I'm sorry to say I'm out, but oh I will God. add this. When this happens, trust me, it's not the end at all. So please we're here, we're trust here for me you here. guys. Can we de-risk this deal for you? Could we de-risk it? Do you what? De can I de-risk it? it? Yeah. So for $100,000, how about if we pay you that back in two years from the revenue that we make, from the profits that we make? I know this company is going to work, and I know that I'm here for, for a shark. We're, this has been our biggest dream, and we're here. All sharks have gone out, but Lisa is not giving up easily in trying to get a deal for her interchangeable kids' shoe company, Bobbles and Souls. Could we de-risk it? Can you what? De Can I de-risk it? it? Yeah. So for $100,000, how about if we pay you that back in two years from the revenue that we make, from the profits that we make? I know this company is going to work, and I know that I'm here for, for a shark. We're, this has been our biggest dream, and we're here. It's just the business isn't at the point where I feel I can invest in it to get that level of return. But I think you'll figure it out. I, it, 
I, I see you're very we're emotional here for you. about no, it. No, we're here for you. But I'm the, here to get but it. The, you're never, explain, listen, you're not going to fail. You, you're not going to fail. I'll give you 100000 for 25%. Wow. I got to be in business with you. Straight deal. Damon, you got a deal. Whoa. <laughs> I got to be in business with you. You're amazing. <laughs> you know what? I'm so glad that he did this. He's he's a great partner for you. Robert, you might as well be Brad Pitt to me. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. Good job, guys. Good job, DJ. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> they were all out. What was the tipping point? 30-day turnaround time on her shoes. She could go with low minimums. Uh, we would just but have she to... knew all that before she No, I didn't. I, it sort, of, sort of, but then she's just not going to quit. She's not going to stop. Quit her. When, when he went out, I just, my heart just dropped down to my, my tummy, and I just, I'm so just incredibly thankful. And I think that, you know, I think Shark Tank is an example that if you work really hard and if you refuse to take any other outcome, um, you're going to be successful. We're so excited to partner with Damon.